in general, data science actually has three different channels, uh, three different tracks, engineering, analysis, and modeling and inference. So engineering is the process that actually make everything else possible. Engineering builds the fundamental data and pipeline for everything else. Um, you need to have data to start with to do any analysis and fancy machine learning model and AI, right? And the um, analysis is the process that you get insight from data quickly in a fast way. It's not about very rigid um, causal inference. It's more about finding a pattern, um, some very exploratory, uh, shallow analysis, but very useful. Um, and the third one is model and inference that involves like statistical inference and more mathematical um, model. Sometimes it's deep learning and machine learning to do the prediction. So the, those are the big track um, of data science. So let's look at engineering in more detail. So engineering has three parts. The first one is setting up data environment. So where you need to store the data, where what is your environment that your analysts and data scientists uh, can use to query data, do analysis, all the platform setting, and how you capture the data using Kafka, um, and how to wrangle big data using Spark and set up all those clusters. So this, this is the uh, data environment part of engineering. Um, and there's data management part of data engineering. Once you have the environment set up, you need to get the data. So if the data is in the logs, it's unstructured text, you need to parse the log. You might need to connect to different API to get the data, um, just to set up the data stream, make sure the data flow in uh, with good quality. And sometimes you need to structuralize the data. And then the third one is production. Production can be two sides. It can be at the beginning of the data stream. When you, when you get the data, you actually, it's a production system. Uh, and then after analysis modeling, once you have that model, build a model on a sample of data in the research from the research side. It's, it's one thing, but if you want to put the model into production uh, to be real time at scale, it's totally different thing. If you want to put the model into production, you need to go back to engineering um, to work on that part. So that's the three big parts of engineering. And each, if you, on each track, you actually have different jobs. The second big, big track is analysis. As I said before, analysis is more about getting insight in a very fast way. Um, so you need to know the domain, you need to have the domain knowledge. You need to translate the data to be a story um, your clients, your end users will take. So you do a lot of exploratory analysis, you do presentation, you do storytelling. Um, it doesn't go as deep, but it's very useful. The third one is modeling and inference. So this, this track is more mathematical or statistical analysis. Um, it's more technically, more math in it. So you do statistical inference, you may design experiment to compare the impact, do A-B testing. Um, and if you are more towards the machine learning side, you will develop model to do supervised learning, um, to do prediction, or unsupervised learning to discover the pattern, different clusters. Um, in some situation, about 10% of the time, maybe you will do customized model. If there's no specific model that works well in your situation, you might need to customize model. So you do those model development that actually require a lot of understanding of the background of the model. So around different tracks, depending on where you are at, so there are many, many different titles. Um, here are some of the titles. I will go through these titles quickly. Um, if you still feel it's confusing, doesn't, um, it doesn't matter, don't worry. I will, I will look at those different roles um, from different lens. Hopefully you will have a better uh, view of it. So 
data infrastructure engineer, that's the very beginning of the data. So usually data infrastructure engineer is pure engineer. They use language like Go as very uh, bottom level language. They also use some higher level language like Python, but they nearly never use R. They don't really use SQL. Uh, they handle with the system. So they are very familiar with different cloud system like AWS, Google, Azure, um, and they, they manage um, the Kafka cluster to do uh, streaming data. And then um, if you go towards a little bit uh, towards the application side, you would get data engineer. Uh, that's once you get data from the infrastructure, you will use Spark Scala uh, to aggregate the data to ETL. So data engineer will use like SQL. And also data engineer is very hardcore engineer. So data engineer need to know uh, or function in the cloud environment. And sometimes data engineer do modeling. That's the old like DBA role. Um, and then if you go further down, it's like BI engineer. BI engineer is not as hardcore engineer as data engineer, um, but BI engineer still handle with the production system or set up data visualization, use SQL, Python. Um, the BI engineer usually are familiar with a lot of um, business uh, BI tools like Tableau, Looker, Mode. Um, and, then, and then that's the that BI engineer is sort of is between engineer and analyst. Um, and data analyst is, is in the analysis role, analysis track. So data analysis use usually use SQL. Um, sometimes it will be R, Python, depending on your background. Um, sometimes people know basic stats and data visualization is a must and for uh, presentation storytelling. Data scientist, it really depends on what company you work for. So. Like Amazon has data scientists, research scientists, and applied scientists. Some other company don't have that different title. So in general, just in general, data scientists is more towards R, Python, um, so do mach machine learning. And if you are from stats background and become a data scientist, you might do experimental design. Um, so the difference between data scientists and data analysts, it, it, the line is not very clear. Um, so if you really want to draw a line, it's more about how much math you need to know, how much statistics you need to know. So for some company, uh, they may have title just like data scientists, but they have slash data scientist analysis, data scientist algorithm, things like that. I'm just checking the, um, the comment there, sorry. Um, so for research scientists, um, in some company, research scientists is like the higher, a little bit higher version of a data scientist. Research scientists usually have advanced degree, a PhD degree with many years of experience. They do, they have deeper stats and math uh, background and they do machine learning. They customize developed model um, and they know algorithm. So if they research, if you interview for research scientist, sometimes you need to do some lead code, like data scientists, research scientists, it will be some lead code question um, about programming. But if you interview for data analysts, usually there's no programming um, question. And applied scientists, it's more of the engineering version of data scientists. If you are from engineering background um, and you can be applied scientist, that's very similar to data scientists, also research scientists, but you, you are towards the algorithm. Um, you are closer to production, put the model into production. Uh, that require basic software engineering skill. A machine learning engineer, I think that's the, the most popular one um, because machine learning engineer is different from, it, it's an engineer, but it also need to know some machine learning um, model, you have to be able to, to put that model into the production system. So machine learning engineer need very advanced software engineering skill because you don't just wrangling the data, you actually need to do complicated model and you, you need to uh, make it put it into production at scale. So that's actually a very high level engineering skill. 